Hey guys, how are you? Um, my name's John, I'm in Sydney and this is uh, the introduction video for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021. Um, as mentioned before, I'm in Sydney, Australia, uh, which basically means I'm going to have to wait uh, till the end of the competition for all the parts to arrive. Um, I'm going to be in the kit build competition, uh, even though I do make bodies and have made necks in the past, I thought it would be interesting to, on this particular occasion, do a kit build exercise. Um, uh, basically to show you know people what they can achieve with minimalistic tools in a smaller environment, uh, given that I actually live in an apartment. So there'll be no great shots of uh, elaborate workshops with huge amounts of tools and equipment. Um, most of the footage that will be provided will probably be of a singular bench and I'm going to try and make the format of most of my videos for this competition um, done in a talk track uh, where as I work on things progressively um, uh, I'll be explaining in greater detail the various processes, tools and techniques that I've kind of picked over in my time, um, whether that's just through my existing knowledge or whether that's from reviewing all the great entries on here or the entries in the past as well as some great tutorial um, information that's been available online. Uh, really looking forward to the build this year. Um, I am a lover of all things offsets, so I think for this year I'm looking to put together probably a bit of a mishmash, um, something that's maybe kind of a bit Jaguar-esque, a little bit Jazzmaster-esque, maybe with a few little Marauder um, bits included, um, and um, probably be looking at focusing quite a lot of attention on finishing. Um, and the techniques that I kind of use around finishing. Um, for this particular finish, I won't be using an LVP, LV, LP or a HVPLP gun, if I can actually get those acronyms out properly. Um, I'm just gonna be using aerosol cans. So it's trying to get to as true to a process of what may be a, uh, an individual who's first, it might be their first or second time embarking on, on coming in and, and doing a build for themselves. Uh, in respect to the overall guitar body shape, um, I'm going to be basically looking at um, just a standard Jazzmaster offset shape done in, you know, 1962 kind of um, shape, fashion, build and specification. Uh, the difference being is I won't be choosing Alder or Ash or some, maybe some hugely exotic timber. I'm probably going to be making this out of two-piece, it'll be a two-piece mahogany body. Um, that I've acquired, and I'll probably be looking at sourcing a neck um, that's probably something that allows me to to hold onto the traditional neck shape. So I'll probably be looking at an all parts neck or a, a jazz master replacement neck, um, and then seeing what we can do with that using different techniques, um, uh, things that reminiscent that are very reminiscent of like how uh, someone will start off building a kit, for example. Um, unlike buying a off the shelf kit. Um, which I find can sometimes be a little bit limiting in regards to the hardware selection. I tend to go for um, maybe the nicer end of the spectrum and in regards to quality when it comes to hardware. So I think for the machine heads or the tuners, I'm, I think I'm going to go with hip shot um, for that. I've normally always stayed with a, um, a Spurgle um, tuner um, or even a Fender uh, tuner. Um, but I think I'm going to go for the hip shot, hip shot on this occasion. I think I'll go for the traditional tremolo, although I might be looking at um, perhaps bringing in um, a marauder plate um, of some kind and seeing how that can work with the traditional kind of um, setup in regards to the uh, the pick guard on a, on a jazz master or a slasher jaguar type shape. Um, in regards to the electrics, um, probably going to be using uh, fairly native standard stuff in regards to wiring, so probably a vintage pushback type cloth wiring. Um, and I think, you know, obviously I'll probably be going for CTS pots, probably 500k pots, kind of middle of the road um, area there. In regards to the pickups, now this is interesting, I'm going to try something that maybe is a little bit unique this time. I'm going to actually be installing four uh, single lipstick pickups of which I'm going to be pairing them off as humbuckers but also allowing them to be able to split um, so 
two lipsticks at the back um, and then two lipstick at, at the front. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that actually works. Um, I think it's going to look fantastic and work well, and obviously they'll be switching maybe with some kind of Jaguar-esque type of switching between that. Um, other areas that I'll be probably um, focusing upon is, you know, the nut. I'm a believer in zero fret, um, and I know that a lot of people don't like them. Uh, I'm a huge fan of them because I love the resonance they provide. So I'll probably be going through, um, maybe putting through a, um, a zero fit, like a zero glide, for example. Um, but it can be a, a tutorial lesson that anyone can kind of follow. But um, the big part about me is probably the execution side of things when it comes to the finish. I think for the finish this time, I'm, I'm really going to be inspired. I've taken a lot of inspiration from a few different areas, but I'm just feeling a kind of a real royal heraldry kind of theme coming along like um there's a bottle of um crown royale liquor sitting over on that bench over there um and i love the line work and the artwork and the colors and patterns that are used in that so i'm thinking about probably doing some kind of you know hot rod inspired vinyl taping pattern um that might kind of go back to some kind of crown based or royal kind of theme um and maybe bring in accents of gold into that um i think for the finish i'm trying to um i've always traditionally probably uh worked a lot with candies um and a lot of metal flake in the past i think for this one i'm probably going to go for a very unique kind of color shift pearl um uh, some of you would probably call that a chameleon paint uh, but I think keeping in with that kind of that royal theme, I'll be looking for a color shift pearl that'll probably be shifting from a from a purple to a blue to maybe a red. So a real royal, elegant, think kind of uh, velvet kind of theme in regards to that. And like all things, I tend to work with more high end um, paints and products. So I'll probably be locking it in with a a two K kind of poly finish, and then we'll buff it and cut it and do all that process back and I'll go through all those various techniques with you as well. Um, really looking forward to this build. Um, as I said, um, uh, being in Sydney is a little bit limiting sometimes because obviously the hardware takes a long time to get here. Some portions have, um, there may be certain delays in the progression of certain videos because of that. But look, I think we're gonna have a great journey with this. Um, I encourage you to kind of subscribe if you want to, uh, keep up to date. Um, I'm probably more interested in answering any questions that you might have, especially if you're new or require, you know, some some support on, on various kind of techniques. Um, and um, if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate. Um, it doesn't matter how small the, the question may be. Um, and I'm always open to feedback um, as well in regards to progress. Um, so that's me signing off for the moment. The next video that you should probably see will be one um, where I'm going to break the video of the next um, the next few videos up into five different stages. The first one being just a, a quick introduction like now. The next one's going to be um, focused more on body preparation. So we're going to be looking at things like sanding that um, that uh, that body once it comes in that mahogany body. We're going to be doing things like uh, my techniques um, in regards to sanding and probably filling the grain because it is a mahogany and it's quite porous if we don't fill that and um, fill that grain and seal that in where we're, we're going to get a lot of you know um, solvents are going to seep into it when we start to go to prime um, so we're going to go over that um, just double checking measurements getting the body right getting the neck slot to fit correctly um, the neck pocket not slot sorry um, and just looking at you know what we need to do to get that body prepped ready so I look forward to um, getting this underway and um, like I said um, uh, here's video one of the entry and um, I look forward to your feedback and um, any comments that you have. Uh, thanks for now and I'm signing off for now, but I'll uh, talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.